New tonight at 6, the Fairburn man exposed by the Fox 5 I team for selling marijuana lace snacks to high school students will have a chance to get out of jail on bond. A judge set bond at $30,000 for a Dye Simmons charged with five felony drug counts in connection to an operation he ran called Trill Treats. On Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis is here with a list of which schools authorities say Simmons targeted. Yeah, Deidre and Tom, yeah, the prosecutors say the list comes from Simmons' own ledgers, meticulously detailing who he sold to and how much money he made manufacturing and marketing edibles to minors. On behalf of Aday uh, Simmons. Adaye Simmons marked his 20th birthday while inside the Douglas County Jail, held since early December without bond after authorities caught up to him in a very public way. Douglasville police teamed up with Fulton County police to arrest Simmons, a Fairburn man who openly bragged on his Instagram page that he had friends in local high schools selling his illegal products for him. He called his operation Trill Treats with 4,100 followers. Police used a helicopter to see whether they could identify other dealers Simmons might have visited on his way to the undercover buy. They also executed a search warrant at Simmons' home. Inside the defendant's residence where he lived with his mother and father, they located over a dozen crock pots which were strewn throughout the garage and the living room. In those crock pots were large amounts of marijuana. The police operation came after the Fox 5 I team conducted our own hidden camera investigation, buying a dozen treats from Simmons in the shopping center parking lot. So you like, you do the colleges and everything, right? Well, I have my fellas to do it. I make sure, yeah, I'll be doing it. Parents of some of Simmons' customers complained their high school kids got sick, one even hospitalized. It's definitely a lot of kids that, that sell it. For him. For him. In fact, prosecutors said comments on the Trill Treats Instagram page made it clear. One of the school-aged high school children told him they were running it out of the edibles to sell by second period and needed more. When the brownies tested positive for THC, the active ingredient in marijuana, at amounts three times the approved level in pot-friendly states, the lab we used turned over the evidence to Douglasville police. Two police undercover buys later, Simmons was under arrest. Authorities say they also recovered ledgers at Simmons' house where he carefully detailed how his business was going. According to his numbers, he was clearing $5,000 a month. Prosecutor David Amati said those ledgers also listed the high schools Simmons targeted. Pebblebrook, Langston Hughes, Westlake, Banneker, North Springs, Creekside and Douglas County High School just down the road on Campbellton Street. Simmons attorney Tawana Morgan stressed to the court how many people showed up to support her client. An official GoFundMe page for Simmons legal fees called him a young man with dreams of starting his multifaceted business empire with the main focus of creating jobs and opportunities for his friends. See a die for a young man, youthful indiscretion, may have made a mistake, However, that does not indicate that he is not um, a good candidate for bond. Now again, Judge Cynthia Adams set bond at $30,000. Even if Simmons makes bond in Douglas County, though, he still faces three felonies in Fulton County, where he lives and where police say the drug, the drug operation was based. So he's going to make bond in Fulton County as well before he can actually go home. So he was living with his parents at the time. Mm -hmm. The question now, do his parents face any type of criminal action? Well, the DA's office in Fulton County would only tell me that the case is still open and under investigation. So I really can't answer that question. Uh, his dad was in the courtroom. I understand his mother was not today. Mm. All right, Randy, thanks. Okay.